Hey everyone, hope you're all doing well. Today we'll be cleaning my kids' very messy bedroom. And I still haven't snapped out of my very lazy, demotivated state. I don't want to do anything else but just snuggle on the sofa with a cozy blanket and dig into my book. But I had to get this done because it's been bugging me for a few days. Every night I bring them upstairs for bedtime. I just look at it and I keep telling myself I'm going to sort it out tomorrow. I'm going to sort it out tomorrow and I just keep delaying. And instead of a timer, I said one hour of Renegade on a loophole. I've been obsessing over that song lately. And I know if I had chosen something a little bit livelier, I might have perked up a bit more and woken up properly. But no, that's what my mood is like today. And it's one of those really gloomy, rainy days. You know, the perfect ones to have a nice comfort meal, snuggle up and lit your candles, just enjoy some cozy time. It's that really cozy weather. One of the reasons why I'm so obsessed with autumn. I don't know if you've heard about the Danish art of happiness, the daily Danish secret of happiness. It's called Hygge and it's basically creating a happy, cozy atmosphere at home. I will do a video on it closer towards autumn because I find it really difficult to implement some of the things around summertime when it gets really hot. But today it's that perfect weather so it's basically just if you can imagine it is a lovely caramel latte and a cinnamon bun and a fluffy blanket near a fire or just a really dim lit room with something very calming and comforting on the tv or just spending quiet time with family or digging into a book you get the sense of it it's that sense of coziness and i had to have a little battle with myself because if you watched my short in the morning today's practice is acting as our best self so i had to question myself what would my best self do would she sit on the sofa and procrastinate all day or would she actually get up and get this room sorted and the answer was well she would probably just go and get the room sorted and not overthink it not be too anxious about it not get annoyed with it in the evening again but then it was what would my happiest self do and as I just explained, my happy self would definitely fully embrace the hygge and enjoy the sense of coziness and not go around and do a boring chore like tidying up a kid's bedroom. But I know that I can relax even more when I know that this is done and out of the way. So I just put that one hour time where it didn't take me an hour, it took me less than that, but I didn't want to continue doing anything else afterwards. So for today is just the kids' bedroom and the reason why it's in such a disastrous state now, you know that my kids are usually quite good at keeping it tidy. They don't bring food in here, they don't really bring toys in here. And they don't really come and play in here either. It's just for sleeping. I listened to some unsolicited advice after one of my videos someone reached out on Instagram saying that I should allow them to choose their own clothes and change by themselves they're old enough I shouldn't be supervising them as much and I thought okay maybe this person is right so I gave it a try and my kids have been coming here after school every day pulling clothes out of their cupboards and chucking uniforms everywhere and this place completely spiked I wrote out of control even Noah's bro clothes here somehow even a pair of my pants has ended up in here I have no idea what's been happening and I am definitely not following that advice anymore I would much rather get whatever outfit I want for them and then they just change after school or change in the morning I do let them change their own clothes I do help with certain things like buttons and laces and certain belts whatever but they know how to change themselves and i would definitely not be encouraging them anymore to just come upstairs and chuck uniforms everywhere and pull clothes out of the wardrobe and then decide i don't like it i don't want it, it doesn't match whatever their problem is because i'm not dealing with this mess anymore i have enough problems with the laundry and the mess that i create in my bedroom with the clean clothes before i put them away i don't want them pulling things out as well 
and I know, I know the lady who messaged me would probably say, well, this is because you're not teaching them properly. You should teach them that they put their uniforms away and then they only pull one pair of clothes out, not a lot. And we are neurodivergent family and it gets complicated. So for the moment, we're just going to do what works for us. And that's the advice I can give you. You do you and don't care too much of what others think because not everything works the same way for all of us we are all so different so just find what works best for you and stick with it regardless as if it's the right thing or the wrong thing according to others as long as it works for you it's right for you so if you're like me and if you're demotivated and lazy and just don't want to do anything use this very short video as your human timer use me as your body double your human timer pop me on the background and it's just 12 minutes you can do anything for 12 minutes and it will definitely make a difference just 12 minutes at your mess will make a dent in it a little bit it will make a difference it's better than not doing anything at all and it should give you a little bit of sense of accomplishment or you shouldn't feel as anxious that you've just procrastinated all day again and didn't do anything and after i battled with all the clothes that were scattered everywhere i had to change the kids bedding because i didn't wash it on sunday my mum was over and then monday it was a bit of a messed up day if you saw yesterday's video i don't even know what i did the time just went so quick but i did manage to finish the kitchen and clean the downstairs bathroom so it wasn't too bad i guess today seems to be even worse but having said that nick and i went out for breakfast in the morning and then we went and did a big food shop because we had run out a lot of things so it, the time was still used in somewhat productive way but yeah i've just not been handling my time management very well lately i've just been lazy and i can't even say demotivated i just been very laid back let's just say laid back but anyway after i took their bed sheets off ready for the wash i gave the whole room a quick dust off and then just run a quick vacuum in here and that was done i have the even bigger task in the evening of putting the bed sheets back on you know my kids have the most ridiculous beds and it's so difficult to deal with their bed sheets i absolutely dread it but i know that tonight i'll go to bed in nice fresh bedding and i'll feel much better for it and i love when this room is nice and clean because in the evenings is actually one of the most relaxing rooms in the whole house they have really low lights in here they have one of those little ice fans that keeps the room at the perfect temperature and perfect humidity and they have their bedtime essential oil diffuser so you always smells lovely and relaxing and it is absolutely perfect i can pretty much almost always 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 sleep while i'm waiting for them to go to bed i just cuddle each one of them individually and spend a few minutes with each one and it's just the most relaxing room and i do realize that if i've ever treated myself the way i treat my kids and given myself the attention i give to them i would have never ended up in the messed up mental state i am now but it is what it is and as moms we tend to prioritize our loved ones but now I'm on a journey to actually give myself that care and attention as well it is a slow process and hopefully I'll get there soon enough and here is your reminder to be gentle with yourselves take it slow take it one day at a time and don't forget to take good care of yourselves back when the rain fall we just want the sun down give up when it's too hard i know you can feel it it's really not a secret watch it as you breathe it save your love for me save save your love for me save it
breaking takes our dedication love i love you every second even when we miss up we need to get on track now track now Another give up. I'll run overseas. Save your love for me. Save it. Every second, we need to get on track now. Bye bye, it's not a plan, love. It's just another give up. I run overseas, save your love for me, save it. And as always, it was an absolute pleasure spending the day with you. Bye.